hi guys you're welcome back to my channel in today's video tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how you can register the fidelity bank mobile app you will learn how to register or sign up for the fidelity bank mobile app so that you can be able to use it to carry out your daily bank transactions such as money transfer b payments and the rest of it so guys i'm going to be showing you guys how to do it it's actually easy just make sure you follow me to the end of this video to get it all and also if this video is helpful to you please consider liking subscribing and leaving a comment as that would tremendously help grow this channel so guys let's get started so guys, now the first step you have to take now is to get the Fidelity Mobile Banking app. And for you to get that, you have to download and install it. So guys, in case you want to learn how to download and install it, I've already made a video on that. Go over to the description of this video. You're going to see a video link there. After you're done watching this one, go over to the description of this video. Tap on the link there. You'll be able to learn how to download and install the Fidelity Mobile app from your Play Store or your App Store. So guys, once you've downloaded and installed the Fidelity Bank Mobile app, then we are good to go. So guys, the next step you have to take now is to tap on the app to open it. So let me open the app right away. So guys, now you can see the Fidelity Bank Mobile app has opened. So guys, the next step you need to take now in order to register as a new user of this Fidelity Mobile Bank app, what you have to do now is to tap on where it is written, sign up here. You can see it there. You can see where the arrow is pointing at. That's what you need to tap on. But if you have registered or signed up before for this Fidelity Bank Mobile app, what you need to do is to enter your username and your password. Then you tap on login. But since you're a new user of this app, you have to register by tapping on sign up here. You can see that sign up there. So let me tap on it right away. So guys, now you can see what is written here, new user enrollment, three simple steps to register. So guys can see that it involves just three steps for you to actually register and start using this Fidelity Bank mobile app. You can see the first step is validate your identity. The second step is choose a username and password, while the third and final step is complete your sign up. So guys, what you have to do now is to scroll down. So let me scroll down. And what you have to do next now is to tap on where it is written, get started. You can see the arrow pointing at it. So let me tap on it. So guys, now you can see what is written here. Welcome to Fidelity Bank. Please enter your account number to begin enrollment for our internet banking. So guys, what you have to do right away now is to enter your account number. So let me enter my own account number right away. And for you to do that, you have to tap on where it is written, account number. So let me tap on it and impute it right away. So guys, now you can see I've imputed my account number. So the next step you have to take now is to tap on where it is written, continue. You can see that green button there. So let me tap on it. So guys, now you can see what is written here. Please enter the 8 digit code sent to your mobile number ending with 7655. So guys, now what you have to do now is to go over to your message app now to get the code, to get the OTP that was sent to your message. So guys, now let me scroll from the top of my phone to check if I've gotten a message to see if the notification has come. So guys, let me scroll down now. So guys, now you can see the SMS from Fidelity. You can see Fidelity SMS. So guys, let me go ahead now to copy it right away. So guys, you can see where it is written copy. You can see the number there. So let me tap on copy. So guys, now I've copied it. What I have to do now is to come over here and paste it. So let me paste it right away. So guys, now you can see I've entered the code right away. You can see the code is an eight-digit code. So what I have to do right away now is to tap on where it is written continue. So let me tap on it right away. So guys, now you can see it's loading. So guys, now you can see the next step. You can see what is written there. Please enter your preferred username and password for your online banking login. So guys, what you have to do now is to enter your username, your password. They have to re-enter the password to be sure that the password is correct. They enter your email. Impute the email that you use in creating your bank account, the email that is connected to your bank account. In case you've forgotten the email, what you have to do is to go over to your bank to get the email. Or in case you don't have any email connected to your bank account, what you have to do now is to go over to the description of this video. There is a video link there that will teach you how you can actually create an email address, how you can actually create a Gmail or a Google account. So after you're done creating your email address, then you can go over to your bank so it can be connected to your bank account. Then once it's connected, then you can then use the email now to come over to this app. Then use it successfully so guys this username and password is what you're going to be using to sign into this app is what you're going to use to log in to this app to get access to the banking features so guys now let me create my username and my password let me do that right away so guys now you can see i've entered my username i also entered my password then i re-entered the password to be sure that it's correct and also lastly i entered my email so guys now after you've done entering all of this your information what you have to do now is to tap on where it is written continue so let me tap on it right away so guys, now you can see here is the next step. You can see what is written there. Kindly set up two secret questions. You should need to reset your password in the future. So guys, you need to set up two secret questions that you can use to reset your password in case you forget your password in the future. So guys, now let me select a question. You can see the first question there, question one. What you have to do now is to tap on where it is written, select one. So guys, let me tap on it right away. 
So guys, now you can see the list of questions that are written here. What you have to do now is to choose one of the questions that you can actually provide answers for that you cannot forget. So guys, let me choose my own question right away. So guys, now you can see I've selected the question. After that, what you have to do now is to provide the answer. And for you to do that, you have to tap on where it is written answer. So guys, let me tap on it now. Let me provide the answer to the question. So guys, now you can see I've provided the answer to the question. So what you have to do now is to select the second question and also provide answer for the second question. So guys, let me do that right away. Let me tap on the second question. Let me select one of the questions. So guys, now you can see I've selected the question and I've also provided answers to all three questions. So guys, after you're done doing this, what you have to do now is to tap on continue. So let me tap on continue right away. So guys, now you can see the next step. You can see what is written here. Your enrollment is almost completed. Please choose an option below to activate. So guys, what you have to do now is to select activation method. And for you to do that, you have to tap on where it is written activation method. You can see it there. So let me tap on it. So guys, now you can see there are three methods that you can use to actually activate this your Fidelity Bank mobile app. You can see the first one there is debit card slash credit card. The second one there is email, while the third one is bank branch. So guys, what we are going to be using is the first one, which is debit slash credit card. So guys, let me tap on this right away. So guys, now you can see here is the next step. Over here, you have to add your debit card details, your ATM details. You can see them. First of all, you have to choose your card type. Is your card a MasterCard, a Visa card, or a VF card? You have to choose that. Then secondly, you have to choose the expiry month of the card. Then thirdly, you have to choose the expiry year of the ATM card. Then lastly, you have to enter your card PIN. So guys, now let me select my card type. So let me tap on where it is written card type to do that. So guys, now let me select the third option. Visa is my card type. So let me tap on it. Then let me select the expiry month of my ATM card. So let me tap on where it is written select month. Let me tap on it. Then let me choose the month right away. November. Then let me select the expiry year of my ATM card. For me to do that, I have to tap on where it is written expiry year. So let me tap on it. Then let me choose it. Um, 2024 let me tap on it so guys now let's go back to the next one which is card pin for you to enter your card pin your atm card pin the pin that you use to actually authenticate your bank transaction so guys now let me enter it right away for you to do that you have to tap on where it is written enter card pin so guys let me do that right away so guys now you can see i've entered my atm card details you can see i've entered my atm card type which is a visa card i've also entered the expiry month of the atm card which is november and also i've entered the expiry year of the atm card which is 2024 you can see there i've entered my card pin which is the pin i used to authenticate my transaction so guys now what you have to do finally now is to actually agree to the privacy policy of this fidelity bank mobile app you can see where it is written i have read and agreed to the privacy policy agreement what you have to do right away now is to tick that circle there you can see that circle there on the right hand side the arrow is pointing at it what you have to do now is to tick it so guys let me mark it right away so guys now you can see i've been able now to tick it so guys what you have to do finally now is to tap on where it is written complete registration once you tap on it then you have successfully registered the fidelity mobile bank app so guys that's how it's done this is how you can actually register or sign up for the fidelity bank mobile app so guys now i've come to the end of this video and i believe you got value from this if you did make sure you like subscribe and leave a comment and also if you're new to this youtube channel don't forget to hit the bell notification so that whenever i release new videos like this you're gonna get notified see you on the next upload bye bye peace